The introduction of Emerson Marr today. Hello and welcome to the Ignite Youth Podcast. You're not making it through that. I'm doing fine. You're the one that can't make it through the introduction. I can never make it through the introduction. Just for the record, Wes sets the title of the podcast. Emerson helped. I I did help. He did help. By the way, this is Emerson. Let us make some introductions here. If you're joining us for the first time or Mm -hmm. um, joining us at all we welcome you we're glad you have you here my name is julie adams i'm the host so i'm in charge no i'm kidding (laughs) not really um this is our youth pastor wes hillis hi and for the first time on our podcast this is emerson mar emerson is our summer intern Mm -hmm, and what's a summer intern you might ask well we're gonna tell you emerson what's a summer intern Uh, it's a it's a little bit of everything it's uh helping out with the youth Mm -hmm. mostly getting bossed around by wes a lot yeah and working with Renee, working with interest. Natalie, doing lots of just, I'm just doing all the, the things that yeah. people don't kinda, have time to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of what you get yeah. told to. Yeah. <laughs> like, we don't, like when yeah. he says getting bossed around sometimes, sometimes it's like, hey, I need you to go and do this. <laughs> go, go lift this heavy table. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is what happened. That's what happened. Um, yeah. Emerson has been hired to work here for the summer Yep. Um, through a grant that we receive, which is awesome we do this every summer we've had mm-hmm. some great interns in the past yeah and uh yeah we're looking forward to a great summer with yes, you yes i'm excited yeah so emerson will primarily as he said be working with wes our youth pastor mm-hmm. and natalie our kids ministry director yeah. and renee sort of oversees a lot of those things Whoops. yeah yeah so mm-hmm. closely with that so yes. what do you do um like during the school year you're still in school spoiler yes. alert yeah, I just finished my first year. I'm doing concurrent education, which is like the teaching program. Mm-hmm. I'm at Brock right now. Nice. Or I'm supposed to be at Brock uh, when school starts back. Right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a six-year program, so it's going to be a long wow. one. Nice. But yes. Well, hopefully you have some good experience yeah. here. Do you know what you want to teach when you're done? Um, I'm planning on teaching geography mm-hmm. and uh, high school area. Nice. And I also, I, I am also doing history. You can choose two courses to mm-hmm. like teach so yeah geography history like a teachable yes mm-hmm. yeah oh, very good would you say geography is a, an important subject i would say geography is very important mm-hmm. most people cool. most people disagree with, most people de- disagree with us yeah. don't they really yeah. geography is oh, yeah. cool like geography. people hate geography oh as well hmm. with history not many people i don't like get history. why history not my fave but geography i'm into it okay yeah, but like, like it. we've had students who there was a junior high student and they had i think it was forget who it is but they had to essentially label things on a map and say what it yes. is and do a project about it they were so given funny. to do a european country mm. yeah they chose asia that's not that's not the teacher said choose what you want Oops. and then they'll come to the presentation teacher didn't even like approve of what people were doing anything they chose asia because they kind of proved to him like do you actually know what you're talking yeah. about mm. yeah Mm-hmm. That's but Asia's not even a country. Asia's not a country. It's a continent. <laughs> it's a continent. continent. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And they told it's me afterward. Okay. They told me, and I was like, as they were doing the project, yeah, I'm doing a project in this. I was like, oh, that's really cool. What? And what country are you doing? And they said Asia. And I looked at them. And I said, Uh-oh. that's that's not a country. <laughs> and she looked at me and she was like, yeah, it is. Mm-mm. And I was like, no, it's, that's a continent. And she said, what's that? And I was like, oh no. Oh dear. Well, we're oh, glad no. to have you uh, as a teacher to straighten everybody yes. out. Yes, Emerson. yes, Yeah, that can be your role. But yeah. And so I wanted to ask you, mm-hmm. before you started, what were you most excited for? Most excited for? I, well, I think most excited for would be working with the youth, like junior, senior okay, yeah. highs. I was excited because uh, I was watching Jonah last year. Mm, the last year's right, intern. Yeah. Do a lot of stuff. So I watched him make, make a lot of the games, mm-hmm. do some of the lessons. And I thought that was pretty cool. So. Yeah. Okay, what were you most nervous about? Nervous about Nerv- VBS. V- really? Oh. Yes. Yeah, because really? I, I had a feeling something was gonna happen, some like big big idea, and I've I don't know what's really planned for VBS just yet, but I feel like something has any of your fears come true so far. I, so, some fears have yes, <laughs> yes. Ever since Emerson has a big role in our VBS, and we're really excited and and proud because it's gonna mm. it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, but. yeah. Mm-hmm. We're all taking signups for VBS, so mm-hmm. if you're listening to this and you are willing to volunteer for VBS, reach out. We will find a place for you. Um, yeah, there's lots yeah. of lots of roles here this summer. Yes. Mm-hmm. And being the intern, mm-hmm. 
you have this really fun job of the senior high retreat. Yes. So you get yeah. you get to come on the senior high retreat. Now you you've always been a student when yes. you come on the senior high retreat, but now you're I'm, a leader. I'm How a do leader. you feel about that? Like is that the... I, I feel like that's gonna like make it more like enjoyable for me, honestly. Really? I, I feel like watching all the kids like really like connect with God and also like okay. like just build relationships with one each other. I think that's really gonna because yeah. I mean, normally I'm like deep in it, but now yeah. I'm like taking like a step back and observing. So I think that's going to be really cool. Oh yeah. You will mm-hmm. not just be observing. You're going to be deep in it. Oh. Still. <laughs> no, it, it's a different perspective. It is. It it is. Means no, oh yeah. I absolutely understand. Yeah. I absolutely yeah. understand. But yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. What team are you on again? The, the best team, the yellow team. Ooh. Right. 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 Yes. I'm cheering for yellow. Yes. What team are you on? Wes? I'm on red team. Crickets. Oh, I'm, <laughs> yep. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what? You have your mom on your team. Yeah. She is, came dead last every year for the retreat. We're, we're the underdogs. Mm-hmm. Everyone loves them. You have underdog the most story. people on your team. <laughs> <laughs> so for the retreat this year, they had to split our group up into a group of 10, yeah. a group of 12, a group of 16, a group of 17. Oh, wow. Yellow yes. team has 17 people. Mm-hmm. Nice. Red team has 12, green team has 10, blue has 16. Yes. And so, well, you say you're the underdog. I actually think you're probably you're kind of like set to win it maybe well but you don't know who else from other churches are going to be on there yeah there's a lot of good churches yeah going. yeah that's true how many kids attend the retreat approximately from I our church and from like our church overall. we have 40 it's 47 or 46 i think our total is mm-hmm. overall like with leaders and everything we have 55 people um then from other churches i think sable beach bac is bringing around 20 kids covenant bac is bringing around 20 um there's some smaller churches in there as well that are bringing like 10 or under but i think total wise we're around between 150 to 170 um, which is really exciting because our we've seen a lot of growth happen in all sorry we've seen a lot of (laughs) we've seen a lot of growth happen yeah not just in our church like when i started we were averaging like 30 35 people like this is post covid now we're averaging around 40 mm-hmm. we'll hit 50 sometimes like it's it's a steady growth which is yeah. really exciting it's really good and we're noticing that other bic churches as well like trinity life yep they're having their they're youth grow too. as well yeah, and nice. then we're noticing in other places as well having the meeting house join on these retreats now because they never did before yeah so the meeting house you to do their own retreats and if you're confused by what i mean by the meeting house the BIC denomination has three main groups. Yeah, extensions. Yeah. You have community churches, which is us. Um, then you have reunion church, which is another branch. And then the meeting house, which is another branch. So they're all kind of different. Yeah. Um, but we all share the same values. Um, and so, yeah. And so the meeting house is now coming on these retreats. And so it's interesting to have that different mix of people. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there are fewer rural um, churches, too. Yes. yes. From with like the, the meeting house. We, yeah, the meeting house is mainly city churches. Yeah. I don't really know of any rural meeting house. Um, but yeah. And so with that, we're around like one one fifty, one seventy kids. Nice. Our girls are gonna be staying in Upper Lodge, which is really exciting. And our boys are gonna be staying in a retreat. Now this podcast, if I am correct, comes out the Friday that we leave for the retreat. You are oh, correct. Really? You guys That's can cool. watch this on the bus on the way up. Ooh. Maybe that's when we'll just announce the cabin. So. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> no, we're not doing. Nah. <laughs> oh, you could announce it on the podcast. Yeah. No, I already we already okay. planned yeah. stuff, but right. maybe next Fine. year we made a wheel. We, Emerson a wheel? made a wheel. Yeah. Nice. Wow. <laughs> it's so much fun. Okay. But um, so yeah, so with the with the retreat and being the intern and everything like that, there is some perks with that, mm-hmm. and so. Part of those perks is you can come to like the youth pastors meeting in the morning if you would like, or you can have breakfast with the other people or like, it's up to you. Right. Um, and, and also during that, like it's a different kind of feel, like kind of said, like it's a different perspective. It's yeah. a different yeah. feel. I find being a, being a leader at the retreat, my first time out that I was a volunteer leader, I found it really like weird. Cause like it wasn't now me just going participating, having fun. It was me being in charge mm-hmm. while also trying to do the participation, have fun mm-hmm. and everything else. Yeah. And so connecting is something that's really important. And so having you like, it's a weird start time for you because you're starting two weeks before the retreat and a lot of our grade nine, 10 guys don't know you as well. Like right. some like Cameron Richardson knows you. 
like a bunch of those like grade 10s will mm-hmm. but so now it's building those relationships up and hopefully at the retreat to continue building those sometimes you got to throw someone sometimes <laughs> but <laughs> throw hey, someone. that's honestly how you wow. connect so well with guys okay yeah yes it is yeah all these things we learn here yep but yeah no so so now that you've started and you're going to be working in kids ministry and both youth ministry just walk us through kind of like your first few weeks that you're kind of expecting like what what are some big things that are coming up for you uh, just as the intern and and those kind of things um but yeah so just some some big ideas yeah well i mean so so for next week we, like you said we're going to the senior yeah. high retreat which is going to be super exciting mm-hmm. you'll be doing a lots of um lesson planning as yeah. well we're going to be doing some lessons for the junior and the senior highs i believe yep which is going to be super fun we're going to, and um i think i'm also going to be talking about the new uh what's the word the new lessons we're going over for senior yeah. high yeah which, gonna, which is really cool yeah. i'm not gonna give any spoilers yeah no. but there's really gonna be a new lesson coming yeah um i'm also going to be doing a lot of the games yeah, and, and which you had a great start with. Yes, like last. Can you just share with us kind of what you did last week? Yes, last you? last last night actually, I I did the uh, the um, <laughs> the games. I we did blind volleyball. Oh, so we set up some big walls and we divided the gym into four corners, and then we just threw some like nice soft kind of kind of like they beach balls. Soft when they hit you, they're, they're pretty soft. <laughs> huh. They're pretty nice, but we just threw like yeah. four of them in, and then you just go whack them. Try not to let them hit the floor. Yeah. While you're blindfolded. No, no, no. So you're not blindfolded. You Who's just can't. Who's blindfolded? No one. It's just you can't see over the wall. Like you can't see through the it's wall. Like, instead of a net, it's so just you, a big okay. wall. Okay. You never know when a ball is going to be it's coming. Sorry, your I side. missed that. Yeah. I missed that part. Okay. So, yeah. I, I didn't follow the bouncing. A, a lot of spiking and getting it kind of bonked in. The oh, I was hitting the head Sounds so fantastic. many times of the ball. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. I don't usually get to participate in the games because I'm like running them in that. So having Emerson here, like it allows me to kind of get more involved in some of those games, which is a lot of fun. I definitely didn't break the rules at all. I'm sure. (laughs) Definitely not. But yeah. And so with your game, you did blind volleyball. Mm -hmm. You also did... Uh, it was uh, some kind of like hula hoop race. Hula I don't know game, what the yeah. exact like a, name I think for a hula the hula game hoop race is. is good. Hula hoop yeah. race, where you all like make like a big circle, hold yeah. hands with each other, you have to climb through the hula hoop. That mm-hmm. was a fun game. Huh. Yeah, and yellow team won, of course. They didn't actually. <coughs> someone, <laughs> someone has a bias. Some, judge. some teams, <laughs> some teams cheated. Some teams were oh. just very smart. I, th- I feel they were creative, but I feel like that creativity. It's not cheating. Was okay. It's not cheating. Maybe, maybe. It's not cheating. Just wait to the okay. retreat. <laughs> and where can we find you on Sunday morning? Sunday morning, I'm going to be mostly with the working with the kids, doing mm-hmm. especially, um, or actually last Sunday, I guess it would be since mm-hmm. the time this podcast comes out. Yeah, I would I would have done uh, Mother's Day, mm-hmm. yeah. running, working with the kids down there, playing games with them, yeah. going over the lessons, stories. So yeah. I'm, I'm mostly going to be down there on Sundays. Okay, nice. Yeah, and so. Working with kids ministry, like down in that kind of area, you kind of said before that like going through concurrent education for Brock Mm -hmm. and that you kind of want to work more of high school students. Yes. So I'm guessing the youth and that you're really comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling going into Mother's Day and with some of the younger kids? And well, I am kind of excited. I used to do a co-op at the uh, elementary school, just a rear winger. Yeah. Yeah. So I've built um, a relationship with some of the students that are oh, that already, yeah, yeah. So the, a lot of them already know me, have talked to me. They even come up to me in church when I'm like, like in <laughs> service sometimes just to say hi. Oh, that's cool. So I, a few of them do know me, which will like help me like mm-hmm. adjust, get, yeah. like, get better into that area. And I don't know. I, I do li- love like the younger ages as well. Working Sweet. with them, playing, it's super fun as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. cool. Awesome. Yeah, and so... No, you're going to be working kids, man. You're going to be working with youth. You're going to have retreat, Mother's Day, Father's Day will come up as well. Yes. But one of the big things, and our one of our biggest highlights of the year is VBS. Yes. And so you mentioned a bit of nervousness of VBS. A bit because, of nervousness. Yeah. And so with VBS, don't go into de- too much details about what you're doing. Yes. Because that's secret. Of we course. can't tell people what we're doing yet. Can't but, spoil it. But are you excited for it? Like, are you... Little, yeah. little bit of both. A little okay. Excited, excited, yes, and nervous. Okay. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. awesome. And you know our theme, right? Yes. What is our theme? It's uh, scuba, right? Scuba. Yeah. 
And so like Julia said, if you guys are looking to register your kid for the retreat, yep. or if you're looking to volunteer and help out as well, yeah, we would love to have some volunteers come and help out. If you're grade eight and up, I believe you're allowed to volunteer. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, come out, have a great time. It's yeah. going to be lots of fun. And yeah, I like... Have you helped out of VBS before? Yes. So what areas have you helped out before? I usually help out in like the the younger ages. Okay. I think you, anywhere between like grade four and one. Those okay. are usually the groups I'm working with. Yeah. Cool. All right. So this will be a big change. Yeah. Mm. No spoilers. Yeah. No spoilers. And so... With what do you do at VBS, Wes? So I'm a Bible teacher. Nice. So I will teach grades five, six, and seven. Yeah. Which... I'm really excited for because like me and Renee have been working closely on mm-hmm. what the lessons are going to be like and kind of some of the things to share with the students. So I'm excited for this one. Like this yeah. one, I feel like I have a little more prep and a little more energy for I love underwater scuba I style know. kind of thing. So I'm excited to deck out my room as much yes. as I can. But yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. One of the last things I wanted to ask Emerson was with preparing lessons and with going into teaching, mm-hmm. I think like I've seen already it, but I think one of your gifts may be like, like preparing lessons or preparing teaching and that kind of stuff. And so how are you feeling for teaching your very first lesson? I'm also, I mean, a little nervous about this as well. I mean, I feel like nervousness is actually like, it probably helps you out, like makes you like work harder, work better. So like, yeah, healthy nervousness. But I am also, like I said, excited. Mm -hmm. I think that it's a, it's a new opportunity. It'll help me in my like future career as well. Mm -hmm. And it'll help me build relationships with the students. So, I'll, yeah, I am excited as well. Cool. And it's something I'm con- like, I, I like to talk about, like to learn about. It's God after all. So, <laughs> any, the Bible, all of that. So, I love to talk yeah. about it. So, I, yeah, I'm excited. Cool. Good. All right. Awesome. Yeah. That wraps so I guess up. We, well, I guess yeah. we should share some things coming up. Sure. Yes, please. So, we have um, in two weeks post the retreat because it's coming out the Friday of the retreat. Yep. We have our junior high hamburger night. And so, Whoa. yeah. So remember when we did the food drive? Yeah. So the junior highs brought in the most food. That's right. And so we are going to be doing a hamburger night. So we, me and Emerson, are going to be barbecuing yeah. and making Fantastic. all the hamburgers, games, kind of like a regular youth night, both hamburgers and, and fun like that. Mm-hmm. And then also, um, we're going to be having graduations kind of start coming up soon because yeah. we're already at the end of the year. Can you believe that? Unreal. And so we're going to be going to like some of the students' graduations. Yep. I know Crosley will be our big one yes. that we'll try and get to. Mm-hmm. We'll also be trying to get to any other high school and some of our elementary graduations. Yep. With that as well, we're coming up to our first summer event, which is Splash Town, Woo-hoo! which registration for that is going to be open very soon. Yep. And it's just going to be a fun day to be able to go out onto the water and have fun. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what Splash Town is, it is a giant inflatable obstacle course. And it's super fun and you'll be exhausted <laughs> after. Oh, yeah. You're dead tired afterwards. Yes. Yeah. But it is, it is so much fun. It's a junior and senior high event. And it's just, it's really good to see our whole group kind of come together yeah. and to just have a lot of fun. And I remember last year, like we were playing tag on there. There was kids getting thrown into the water. Oh, and yeah. it was just, just a lot of fun. We did go on the worst UV index day. So Ooh. many people were burnt. So and, many people were burnt. But we were like good about sunscreen. <clears throat> like you had a ton of moms. Oh, and, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was and my family was and we were all kind of pink. Yeah. But no, I remember okay. who was really bad. Jonah. Okay. Jonah. Jonah. Our intern from last year, Jonah, I swear, was on the inflatable obstacle course the entire time. He's a little bit on the pale off. side. Though. And he's already on the pale side, like you said. Yeah. I think he didn't put sunscreen on at all. And the reflection from the water makes it worse. Yeah. yeah. And so he was he was so really sore crispy. the next day. Yeah. So when we go this year, Emerson. Lots of sunscreen. Lots of sunscreen. Yeah. Got it. But yeah. But yeah, Sounds good. So yeah, I think that kind of. And then what it. happens as far as the kids go? So you've got oh. tell us about like um, so junior high is grade six through eight. However, yep. in the summer. Yeah. So in the summer we bring up the grade fives that will be starting grade six in September, just because it allows them to kind of integrate with the group, allows them kind of learn who people are, mm-hmm. build some connections, build some connections, casual and. Yeah. Our grade eights who are going into grade nine, same thing for a senior high. So they come up, they can kind of start to meet people. They can they can really start to build those connections. Some of them already have those connections yeah. from when, you know, the great people are going into grade 10 were in junior high. Yeah. And so you start to rebuild some of those connections and it's just a really lovely time of being able to integrate them. And I just want to encourage all of our grade eights who are going to be going to grade nine and our grade fives who are going to be going into six. The youth isn't that scary. Mm-hmm. It's not scary. Mm-hmm. You'll be okay. I always find it's harder for the grade eights. Uh, to go to grade to nine? Go to yeah. Because you're top of the food chain. Yeah. 
and so then you're at the bottom. So <laughs> yeah. But but it will be it'll be really great. It's a fantastic group, yeah. and so I know they're going to do a fantastic job coming into okay. senior high. But yeah. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we close, is there any way we can pray for you, Emerson? Any? Mm. Uh, uh, just maybe some like support for these next coming days because <laughs> yeah. I mean like I said I'm really nervous but I'm also really excited so yeah, yeah. for sure cool. for awesome. sure and um, if you're listening please keep the senior highs in your mm-hmm. prayers as they go off to the retreat that yeah. um, any sp- anything specific safe- safety safety yeah. uh, safety sleep um, just a really good time to build community and mm-hmm. nice weather as well yeah we'd love awesome. to have some good weather but yeah yeah. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> if you'd like to get in touch with Pastor Wes, you can reach him at wes at waynefleetbic.com. Do you mind sharing your email address? Yeah, with sure. It's uh, My email address is just my name, emersonmar at gmail.com. Perfect. And mine is julie at waynefleetbic.com. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we look forward to connecting with you next week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.